All right, so Chromod is uh, it's turboed now. It, it is. has turbos. 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 Eighty-eight, ninety-one. Tur yes. Boom. We. Uh, we. It is a pro mod. It's street pro mod though. It is. And All I tried. Street. We tried to put pro mod eighty-eight millimeter turbos on it because it's a pro mod. I figured it was like a for sure thing. Turns out my motor's so small and it's so far forward that it was because it would flip over if it was way back there where it was supposed to be. So there's no room between the wheel and the firewall, like zero room for a big, huge Pro Mod 88. <laughs> so we put my old, really old. Really nasty looking old. Hey, baby. Hey, dude. It's not, hey. The, it's not the ages, Barry. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are the same turbos Whip John Doe for 20 grand. So I think they're all right. I think it'll be fine. We put these back on the car. So we have the 88, the cat, old cast rusty 88s back on. The same Butler 482 Pontiac with full racing Elderbrock Performer RPM heads. 482X. This is the 482X we call it. And uh, Lutz built the turbo kit. Man, this one took him forever. It took him two solid days. Solid. That's the longest I've ever seen Lutz take on a turbo kit. Now the first day was all my fault on where I wanted the turbo. We fought a good bit. We fought. Then Sean. <laughs> then Sean. Sean. Sean had us. Sean had us. We were gonna. We were gonna bring it out here and go over. And I thought that was fine, but Jeff was Not being that. real nice about it. A couple times he said some things. A few times didn't work out. Finally, he walked out in front of the car and said, "Look." I'm not fucking doing it. <laughs> We're like, okay. All the shit he's done in his life and all the hell he's caught, that's what is going to fucking break the ground. He all the fucking line on, on yep. one outside and one inside. <laughs> he did. He yep. did. He I said no. Fucking line. So we went through all kinds of hell to get them where they're at now, where they're both inside and pretty. And we put blow-off valves on it just for the hell of it, I guess. Precision. Because they match. They match. They, they look match cool. The valve covers. They look cool. I'm never going to use them, though. I'm probably not even going to drill the hole behind them. That's good. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, precision. They're good. They'll save these turbos, supposedly. I've never ran blow off valves, so I don't know what they're going to do. That's because they're for pussies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they hold up I never head. had a blow off valve until I went over 54 pounds of boost. That fucking tears shit up. Well, I haven't been over 54 pounds yet, so when I go over 54 pounds, these will be here to save me. They'll catch me when I fall, I guess. Well, all right. They're also going to screw you if you have to pedal it. Not this little bad boy. <laughs> this little racing rotor here has got it together. Uh, inch and seven eighths headers. I like this works. Yeah, I like to go small, as you can tell. Uh, a small motor, small turbos, small headers. So Stainless Works has the 304 stainless that we like with the half inch flanges for this motor. No one else actually makes a half inch turbo flange for this head because. It's not a racing head. Who the fuck would make <laughs> uh, They actually make one for this head. So uh, we like the half inch flange, inch and seven eighths primary tubes into however the fuck you can get it into a two and a half inch pipe right into the ass of the turbo. That will make power 50 pounds of boost, 9,000 RPMs out of this little bitty bad mammer jammer. Right? That's it. Don't, bad tell, bitch. don't tell Rodney we go nine. I'm sure he does. Nah, we'll just let Butler 8200 every time. <laughs> uh, I can't think of anything else. So don't forget about Uncle Rico cutting your flanges. Oh, yeah. Uncle yeah. Rico. We, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we didn't have the square flanges that we needed. We uh, cut them up and used them to hold up the table or something over here on accident. Yep, and we did. Uncle, Uncle Rico, cut Monkey's Uncle. Pretty badass. Monkey's piece. Uncle took... He, I don't know where he got it. I'm not even going to ask. But he found not. some stainless and he cut holes in it for us. And it's perfect. Look at that. Just two and a half inch pipe right to that. Put it on the car. He did that at six in the morning on Saturday so He's that we could get ass. this done. So now all we got is we're waiting on throttle body to get here today. We got a new throttle body because this one was involved in a high speed collision. So we got a new throttle body coming in today. Jeff's going to finish welding this apparatus. What are we going to call this? <laughs> Just gonna finish welding this up and then uh, going back on the ground. Next time you see it, it'll be 
Travis will be here helping and we're going to be wiring and plumbing. Next thing you know, threes. Or Georgia. Yeah, Georgia. drag radials. Drag threes, radios. right? Yes, absolutely. Did y'all back first that? 